Hi, Riker Mom here. Now I've had quite a few people ask how I plan on securing my Riker to my trailer. So this is what I'm going to be using. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I do it. So as you can see, the Riker is on the trailer. I've gone ahead and opened the box and taken all the contents out. We have four ratchet straps, four handlebar straps, four Velcro strips, and a storage bag. Now my trailer is an MC210 and it comes with four tie downs in the front and four tie downs in the back. Now I'm going to show you how I strap the Riker down to the trailer. Now with my online research, I've noticed that many people have used the suspension area to tie down their Riker to their trailer. I'm a little cautious about that because I don't want the suspension getting damaged in any way. So I am going to show you how to tie it down using the frame. So first I'm taking my handlebar strap, then I'm going to go under here to where my frame is in the front and loop over it, tuck one end into the other end's loop and pull. Now the reason I'm using this area is because it's a nice smooth area and I don't think it's going to get caught on anything. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to take this end of my ratchet strap and hook it into the loop of my handlebar strap and then I'm going to take this end and fasten it onto my tie down and then ratchet it really tight. So I've tightened down the ratchet, it looks pretty tight, and I've taken the excess strap and looped it through the tie down loops back and forth and then secured it with the velcro so that it wouldn't flop around. Next I'm going to secure the back wheel with the two remaining straps and I'm going to use the two tie down loops. So this is what the back looks like tied down so that it doesn't shift from side to side. So let me know what you think. Any tips or suggestions, just let me know. Please like and subscribe to my channel. There will be future videos coming soon. Thank you.